I went shopping and look what I found. Since I haven't been able to get them to come up from seed, I got myself some zucchini. In fact, there's three in the pot. It's like four dollars. Man, I could have bought several packages. Oh, I didn't notice it has little tiny flowers. Buds. Well, let's go find a home for the zucchini. Of course, I don't know where I'm going to plant it. I have no room anywhere. Everything is full. All the plants, all the planting boxes are full. Well, let's see. Can we find you a place that's safe from chickens? Do you want to grow over here? It's awful dark. No, you don't want to grow over here. That's where the duck used to live. Do you want to go and try to grow in the hothouse greenhouse oven? No, because you'll burn up in there. You don't want to burn up. Okay. Let's keep looking. Oh, where, oh, where can zucchinis grow best? Oh, where, oh, where can they grow? Safe from possums, raccoons, and such. Oh, where, oh, where can you grow? Now, you see that place right there? That's where I initially wanted you to grow. But, between the lima bean, oh, look at those lima beans, and the peach tree, there's no sun there either. So where can we find a place for you? There's no room. Everything's taken up already. Or should I say still? Well, this would be an okay place, but I just put out I don't know how many packages of flower seeds. And if I put you in there, you'll smother the flower seeds. And there's three of you. I guess I could put the littlest one in. And if it makes it more power to it. Nope, can't put it in here. If it was a runner, like most of your winter squash, then I could put it in. But you're a bush, aren't you? Yeah, you're a bush. You can't go there. Well, that permaculture bed, that's not ready at all. Somebody dug in it last night. And I'd have to put a fence around you to keep you safe. You agree to keep you safe. And this permaculture bed really does not get enough light, does it? Let's keep hunting for a home. Is there a kitty in the yard, Ginger? Oh, is there a kitty in the yard? I guess we could put one of you over here. The only trouble is, I've got shade again. For some reason, the avocado tree has decided to leaf out better than it has ever leafed out. I did give it some different food. I gave it citrus food. Apparently it likes citrus food. And I do not see one avocado. So you think this might be a good place for one of you? Okay, let's go find a home for the other one. Well, shall we try here in the garden and see what we can do? Don't break my neck trying to get in. I do not see any place. Well, maybe if I dug a hole right there, but that's where I planted comfrey. Because it doesn't get that much sun. The comfrey's not happy. There's my hummingbird. My baby hummingbird. Let's see. We can't put you in there because look, I have cucumbers coming up. Yay! And it's too early to take out the fava beans because you could sit there. Oh, and the 
tricolored beans are coming up. So I can't go there. I'm definitely not taking that one out. This one I have seeds started in. They haven't come up yet, so I can't plant you there. I could move a few things around and put you back there, but I was going to put tomatoes in there. Oh, I could plant you right there. How does that sound? That sounds like a good place. You'll get moderate sun. Should have full sun, but I don't have full sun. Because really, there's no place to put you in there. Even if I did take the Swiss chart out, I still have the beets. I could put you in way down there all by yourself. I think that's what I'll do with that other one I was going to put over by the avocado tree. At least I know you'll get sun. Don't know how well you'll do, but at least you'll get sun. Are you happy with that? We found the three potting places. We'll put you over here. We'll put the little bitty one in the flower bed. Now we'll put the other one over by the artichoke. Are you happy with that? Okay, we'll get you planted today. So hopefully you will be happy where you end up. Well, I'm going to plant one of the zucchini here because if the Brussels sprouts take a year the zucchini will be, if it grows, all done before the Brussels sprouts are ready to be harvested. And come to find out, this was already an impromptu permaculture bed. Found all this wood just four inches under the surface. So I'll put them back in. Of course, I don't really like using lumber, but I'm going to fill this up with water tonight because it's as dry as a bone. And it's going to take forever to get the water down to the root system if I don't flood it tonight. Man, this stuff is dry. Okay, planting day tomorrow. I watered last night. I didn't water super well, but I think I need to flood it again before I plant the zucchini. That is dry as a bone. Well, dry as dirt. dry as dirt. Well, that's a bit better. So last night, boy, was it dry. I filled it up five or six times. The edges are still dry. I'll just give it some more water today. And I guess I got enough soap out this time, but I haven't seen any evidence of the raccoons or skunks being in the backyard today. I think they take a rest because they can't find what they want. They go look someplace else and then they come back and tear everything up. On Mother's Day 2018, planted a zucchini over by, what shall we call it, a disaster area. With the, who knows if they're going to grow Brussels sprouts. And I'm sure that the I'm sure that the rhubarb seeds are not going to come up now because who knows where they are and if they got buried even deeper. Okay, number two has been planted next to the artichoke. I think I know why the artichoke isn't doing very well. I put a half a gallon of water in a hole 
and it's still dry. I'm coming out with the hose and soaking. Now off to number three, the little bitty baby one. Okay, we're going to find a home for you. Yeah. Do you think you'd like to live right there? Uh, that's where we're going to try to put you. Well, at least I can say this is wet. But look, look at all the amaranth coming up. Oh, goody. The chickens used to love red am amaranth. Don't know if they still do. We'll find. Okay, all three are planted. Wow, look at all that amaranth coming up. I'm going to be doing some transplanting real soon. Oh, 3.30 in the morning. It's a wonder I don't have a path worn through the grass. I keep running the same path. I should go out and check and see if it's all worn down.